our next dish we're gonna make is our lamb fry. So lamb fry is a very, very traditional English style dish using lamb's liver. Um, so lamb's liver in Australia is not that, uh, not that popular. Um, a lot of Aussies aren't that keen on a lot of offal. However, we've got a lot of Europeans and Asians in this country that do utilize and eat a lot of this. Liver is one of those things that must be cooked really quick. Otherwise it becomes really tough and chewy and it's really not nice. So it has to be cooked at the most at medium rare. So um, first things first, I wanted to show you, this is a whole liver. So when you go to your butcher, they'll give it to you like this. Obviously the liver processes a lot of um, blood, hence why you'll always have a lot of blood. Another thing that we'll find in here is all this hard bit. Now this hard bit doesn't break down during the cooking process, so we need to clean it out. The other thing that you'll find a lot, obviously, in your liver is where the, the blood vessels, so where your veins or the bloods are going in. So there's quite a lot of blood holes like that. Now, we won't need all of this liver today. My butcher gave me a huge piece. However, if I was cleaning this liver, what I would do, put your, put your knife underneath that skin and on a small angle facing upwards you can cut that away so like I said that's inedible so we would pick that all out with our knife and clean that out you cannot serve it so all of that would be cleaned okay so, like I said, we don't need it all today. We only need, I think, a, about 125 grams, which is approximately two slices. Now, we want nice big slices, so I'm gonna cut on an angle. Hand flat, like so. And we've got two big pieces, which will be plenty. This one, quite large, I'm gonna cut it in half. This one too. So that's our liver ready. So in this bowl, I've seasoned some flour. So all I've done is added salt and pepper. So I'll take one tablespoon of this and add it to this bowl, give or take. I've got a little bit extra today. First thing we're gonna do is fry our onions. Bit of olive oil, one knob of butter, just because I cook everything with butter. All right, we'll turn the temp up, add our onions. At this point, we're gonna caramelize our onions. All right, bit of a toss. Don't move, when you're trying to caramelize onions, you don't want to move your pan too much because otherwise that brown won't start happening. So sometimes you just got to leave your food alone. All right, so what else I've got here? I've got some port, some uh, shredded sage, some chiffonaded sage, and some uh, bacon. We need to take great care when we're using all these meat products, especially liver, offal, um, and pork, otherwise we'll cross-contaminate and we'll kill somebody, which is not what we want to do. Just show you a little trick when we're doing um, caramelized onions. If we deglaze the pan, usually I use water, lucky enough I've got a bit of chicken stock at the moment, but we can see it's rather uneven in color. So if I add a liquid, what will happen, it will melt down and it will become a lot more even in colour. Alright, at this point, I'm going to add my chopped sage. And I've got another frying pan here. The leftover flour that I've got in this bowl goes in here as well. Cook that for approximately a minute. Add 30 mils of port and 150 mils of chicken stock. Thirty mils port. While that's reducing, we'll start cooking our bacon plates on a small flame, we don't want it reducing too much. All right, high heat, just oil. 
I'm not putting in a hot, hot pan because I want to render some of that fat down as we go along, as I want crispy. Heat up a plate before you serve. So we're rendering this, all this fat from the bacon because what we're going to do is then cook the liver in the bacon fat. So that will just give it a different dimension and extra flavor. Drain your bacon. Then your liver straight into the hot oil, high flame. You're gonna be cooking your liver for approximately 60 seconds on each side, no more. Should be nice and golden brown like that. All right, at this point, some of the fat bits I'll cook for another 45 seconds. The small ones only 30 seconds more. Again, because liver is full of blood, we now need to rest our liver for a little while, otherwise it's gonna bleed on the plate quite a lot. So at this point, I'm just gonna turn my heat down. I'm gonna put my bacon back in my pan just to continue to crispen up a little bit. Very low heat though, otherwise you'll burn it. So our sauce is beautiful coating consistency now. Turn your frying pan off. Place your liver into your sauce and just coat, like so. Taste for seasoning. 